Welcome back to Tain Slade Info. Conclusion and confirmation on the 26 Rafale Marine fighters for the Indian Navy would be discussed during the Indian Prime Minister visit to France on July 13th and July 14th. Even though the Boeing F-18 Super Hornet of the United States has performed equivalent to the Dassault Aviation Rafale M fighter, it is almost confirmed that Indian Navy would be procuring Rafale M from France. The Indian Navy would have announced the Boeing F-18 Super Hornet as the winner during the Indian Prime Minister visit to the United States from June 21st to June 24th, but since it didn't happen, we can be assured that Rafael M will be very soon joining the Indian Navy fleet. Now since the agreement is going to be signed very soon, Dassault Aviation is ready to offer a couple of attractive deals to the Indian Navy. The first one to be mentioned is about the price. Since Indian Air Force already operates 36 Rafale fighters in their fleet and since Rafale M shares a significant portion of its component with the Indian Air Force Rafale, it is expected to be offered at a more appealing price. Second one to be mentioned is about the training of pilots and ground personnel. One significant advantage of procuring Rafale M is the potential for common training of pilots for both Indian Air Force and the Indian Navy. Third one is about building a repair facility on board INS Vikrant aircraft carrier for the Rafale M fighter jet. Even though there is already a repair facility at INS Hansha Naval Air Base in Goa, this additional one on board INS Vikrant would help in quicker service and maintenance tasks. Dassault Aviation is said to be completely responsible for overall maintenance of aircrafts and spare parts delivery. These are the expectations which are being discussed in different defense sources and forums, but to know what are the offers which would come from France if India goes for 26 Rafale M fighters, we need to wait for some more time. So let's wait for the Indian Prime Minister to visit France and let's hear the announcement of the winner for the multi-role carrier bond fighter program along with various other deals. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to Tainslade Info for more defense and aviation related updates. Thank you.